Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and it comes with a great deal of pleasure for both myself and Ira here to welcome you all to Kettering Science Academy. Um, first of all, may I ask please that everyone just puts their phone on silent and also we're not expecting a fire drill but if we do have one please just head out the doors that you came in and staff will direct you to the nearest exits. Good evening everyone, my name is Ira and it's with great pleasure to host this event with Lucas tonight. So I'm Sixth Form's head girl and I'm currently studying physics, chemistry and biology to go ahead and do medicine at university. So unlike all of you guys here, I did not actually start at KSA in year 7. I joined in year 9 from abroad and one promise that I have to everyone is honestly KSA is extremely adaptable. With the welcoming staff and the friendly peers I was able to make friends with both the students and the teachers but the friends I have now are still the same people that I had met back then. So my learning at KSA has been catered to incredibly. We're very lucky to have a talented team of staff who are, de who are dedicated to helping in and out of lessons. I've developed many skills that will help my future in my time here and it's the support has shaped me into who I am today. One thing about KSA that I love the most is that it really pushes you, and in a good way of course. I've been pushed to being the best I can be in many ways Academically, I was pushed by a good relationship with your teachers will motivate you to do better, and it motivated me to do better. Um, and another thing is that it pushed me to go as far as to not only being a volunteer for the hospital, but also getting to witness live surgeries, which is beneficial for my future as a doctor. So I'd like to thank the school for this opportunity. I'm incredibly proud. I'm proud of our facilities, and especially to meet the science and our career counselors. From early on, we've had a bunch of experiences for many of the younger years, such as a world of work, where we offer deeper insights into a bunch of different subject choices. And I find that very valuable in order to shape early interest, because it is a struggle for people to choose what they want to go on to the future. Even at our age, there are still people who are deciding. But we do have good resources. We have great staff that will help you. KSA is credible in not only its academics, but also its vocationals, which is extremely important in shaping well-rounded individuals and getting them ready to the world of work. When I joined the school, I was shocked by the amount of clubs we have, myself joining a music club, which I loved. I'm confident that you will all be well supported at KSA, so I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Lucas and I'm the head boy at KSA and a bit about me, I currently do biology, business and sports science in my A-levels and I'm hoping to go to Loughborough University to do business, economics and finance. So when I first started here at KSA, then I was so sure with the friends I had from primary that were coming up with me that they would be the only friends I'd ever keep and I would stick with them and not make any others. No matter how many people told me, no matter how many times my parents told me, quite frankly, I didn't believe them. And September came around, and of course, KSA was so good at introducing us to new people and making new friendships that I made some great friends, some of which are still my best friends as of today. And one of the things that stands out to me about this school is outside of academics, they also celebrate our achievements. As of right now, I'm a semi-professional footballer and I've been running competitively for the last eight years. And last year, I won a county medal in a cross country for the school. Two weeks later, I saw myself in a school article with other people in the school that had won various awards. And it was nice to see that it was recognized by the people here, not just for the academics. And one more thing, that I truly appreciate about this school is the great relationships I have with my teachers. I think it's super important to always have someone that you can go to, always have someone that you can speak to if you need that. And all the way from year seven, I've always felt that there's been a plethora of people that I could go to if I really needed to talk. Whether it's teachers that I've known for one year or someone such as my sport teacher that's taught me now I'm in year 13 all the way from year seven. And even for example, Miss Giovanelli, who's I've only known for about a month, I've got to know really well. And with that being said, Miss Giovanelli.
thank you both. And I am sure you will agree what an absolutely great endorsement of the KSA experience that these two young people um, are. And obviously they're nearing the end of their journey with us while you're here tonight at the start, a bit like me. Obviously I've been here since September. And although I've only been here a short while, what I want to do this evening and between us really, because we see ourselves as a team, um, is to give you a flavor and understanding of what we think makes KSA so um, special. So we absolutely know what a huge decision it is when deciding which secondary school to send your child to. And it's really important tonight that you take the time and opportunity to speak with our young people, speak with our staff, and explore whether KSA is aligned with what you want for your child. That's really, really important. And our vision is quite simple. We believe that everyone can be the best version of themselves. And that's really important, that bit about the best version of themselves. There is no one size fits all. We have incredibly high expectations and we want all of our young people to have big dreams. But what those dreams are is absolutely fine with us. We want to help every young person, regardless of what their ambitions are, to achieve their um, potential. And what we hope is that by the time your children leave us, they will have the knowledge, the skills and the confidence to be able to take part in those great conversations of our um, time. So these are my three daughters looking absolutely angelic. Uh, two of them are absolutely angelic. The eldest is um, interesting and she's in year nine. Um, Sophia is in year five and Zara, who is the one with the glasses, she's just started year seven. So she's where you will be in a year's time in her um, journey. And when I was thinking about secondary schools for uh, my girls, it wasn't a school's Ofsted and it wasn't a school's results actually that I was most interested in. Now I'm not saying that they are not important, of course they are. And I hope you've had the chance to have a look at um, the Ofsted report from July this year. There is a copy in your packs. There are some quotations uh, up there on the screen now. And of course, we're especially proud, as we heard from uh, Ira and Lucas, that the commitment to ensuring our children are safe and happy, um, that we are determined that not only do they get qualifications, but it's schools about more than that. Schools are about getting qualifications, of course, but they are about so much more. And it's that so much more that we really uh, value and nurture here in helping every young person be the best version of themselves. And we are pleased that the report recognised all of the hard work, which I can take no credit for because I wasn't here, but the hard work of the entire KSA community into providing a diet on a daily basis of teaching and learning, which consistently inspires and motivates um, young people. So what was important to me, it was quite, it was as simple as I wanted my girls to love going to school and to feel safe and happy when they were there. Because it's my genuinely be genuine belief that if we can get those bits right, the rest in terms of academic and personal achievements will follow. And I talk a lot to the children and the staff at the school about how important it is to me that everyone at the academy feels they have a voice and that they're heard. And that's harder for some young people than others. Now, as the parent of a neurodivergent child, my lovely tricky Anna in year nine, I absolutely understand how tricky school can be, but I also know how some young people fly through school and then there's the shades of gray in between both those extremes. And what I want to say to you this evening and what I hope you feel and see as you walk around and talk to our staff and our children, is that this is a school where every child and parent and staff member actually for that, for that um, as well, um, has an equal part to play in our story. So we will deliberately nurture your child's voices. So even before they start with us in September, I am going to ask them all to write to me and I will write back personally to each and every one of them because I want them to know that their voice matters, that they matter and that whilst they are attending, let's be honest, a huge school compared to where they're coming from, they count as an individual. So you will often hear us talk at the school about how determined we are to develop character as well as currency. And at the heart of this is working with you. You are the experts in your child. You know your child best. And we want to work alongside you to make sure that we unlock and grow 
each of their gifts. So I'm going to introduce you to our first year seven student who is willingly, I think, joining me this evening, uh, Josh, who is going to tell you a little bit about his experience so far. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Josh from 7JSI. I am really happy that I came to school and the staff and older pupils have been really welcoming to me. When I first heard about me getting into the school, I was happy and nervous at the same time. However, when I first stood foot into the school, I was anxious about lots of things, but I realised that the staff were really nice and the form students were too. My favourite lesson since being here was history with Mr Goodman because he makes me laugh and smile, also because he supports Liverpool. And the football club are really nice and the PE teachers for the club are very supportive and when you set foot into the school you just need to remember that you're not alone. All, your, all you students are coming into the school the same as you so just remember you're not alone. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Josh. Uh, so, very quickly, to demonstrate all of that stuff that I've just talked about, what that looks like in action, I want to kind of take you through a typical KSA day uh, live so that if your child joins us next September, you'll have an idea of what they'll be doing, and I'm going to be ably assisted by my colleagues over there. So, the importance that we place on high quality relationships starts as soon as our children enter the school site. So it's really important to us that we say hello, we welcome them, we greet each and every student, and actually we check in with them. But of course, it is an opportunity as well to make sure they're fully equipped for learning and for their day. And we have high expectations in relation to punctuality, uniform, equipment, and we don't apologise for that. But what I can and will say is we will always ensure that you and your child know what our expectations are and we will do everything we can to help make sure that you can um, meet them. So I'm now going to hand over to Lulu, who is going to tell you a little bit about her experience so far. Hi, my name is Lulu C. Toller and I'm a Year 7 student here in KSA. Just before the summer holiday, I was in the same boat as all of the kids here tonight. Just like how you may be feeling, I was also nervous and scared about starting a new chapter in my life. I was worried about being late for classes and getting detentions in my first term, but the staff at KSA were very understanding and nice about it. I knew that I would have to make a massive leap from the top of my primary school to the bottom of secondary, but I can assure you that it's not as scary as people may make it sound. I've been part of the KSA community for a month now, and it already feels like home. Also, just in case you were wondering, the food in the canteen is absolutely delicious. I hope that you can come and join us and be the best you can be. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and we do have some samples on offer tonight of that wonderful food that uh, Lulu has just spoken about. So if you visit the canteen later, there are several, well, I want to say 100 portions, mini portions of food. So go and go and try it. Once the students then have been welcomed at the gate, they'll go to tutor time. And we're lucky to have an excellent team of tutors here at KSA. And in year seven, the head of year will be Mr. Horn. Here he is over there invited him to speak but he's welcome to we'll invite you to speak to him after this he's the guru of all things transition in year seven so actually if there's anything that you want to know he is definitely a person to um seek out so we want you to have confidence that when your child comes to us they are well looked after so you can be reassured they enjoy every minute of our ksa or their if, well it is it's our experience and we know that moving from primary school, where children are very likely to have just had one teacher, is very different to the secondary school experience. And so it is our tutor who provides that daily point of contact and helps, uh, I suppose, bridge gap, that gap between primary and secondary. And in addition to your child's tutor, 
And I, am, I have to say, in terms of actually my experience of working within education, the pastoral and support teams within KSA are the best that I have had the pleasure of working with. And we invest really heavily in our pastoral and support staff for that reason that if our children are safe and happy, they will absolutely flourish. So we have a fantastic member of staff who supports uh, children for whom English is an additional language. We've got an exceptionally well-resourced and experienced learning support unit, which helps children um, who might need some extra support both academically or from a social or emotional perspective. We have a member of staff whose role it is to make sure that our most able students are stretched and challenged. And as I say, we invest really heavily and you've got a chance to meet them tonight. They're indicated on your map um, in our pastoral team of non-teaching members of staff, safeguarding team, counsellors, key workers, student services and staff who offer a bespoke programme um, to help students manage their behaviour, emotions and anxieties. And so I'm now going to introduce you to Jaden, who is going to tell you a little bit about his experience so far. Um, hi everyone, um, my name is Jaden, and uh, the staff KSA has been amazing. All my teachers are amazing and I just love how the teachers try their best to put you in your potential. Um, KSA also do clubs after school, maybe if you want to do something new or do something you enjoy. I have applied for a football club and it's really going well. If you're a bit worried about joining secondary school, don't be, because all the teachers are here just to, to, just to support you. I felt the same way, but then all the teachers supported me. Thank you for listening. So... Following tutor time, your child will then go straight into the first of five one-hour lessons. And we know how powerful the experience in the classroom is for our young people to uh, achieve their potential. And so we work really hard to make sure that learning is relevant, it's inspiring, and it's challenging. And it's important to us that we offer a bespoke curriculum and a personalised curriculum. So as I said, that whatever your child wants to go on to do, they can gain the necessary qualifications and skills it is that they need for their ambitions. And so we're committed at KSA to providing a huge uh, range of subjects, a very broad and balanced curriculum of both academic and more vocational qualifications. Um, and you'll see that as you visit our classrooms tonight. And again, you will hopefully see that all of that is possible because of the fabulous facilities that we um, have. So of course, learning can't take place without the right environment. And we pride ourselves on making sure that our classrooms are orderly and safe. Our expectations in terms of conduct are high, but relationships at the academy are characterized by warmth and a restorative approach. But we will always tackle on the few occasions that it does behavior which prevents others from learning. And so you're now gonna meet Isabella, who is going to tell you about her experience of lessons so far. Hi, my name is Isabella and I'm a Year 7 student here to talk to you about the learning and lessons. My favourite lesson is DT because we do more of it here than what I did at primary school. We also do drama, French and German, which I never got to experience in primary school. When I started, getting to different classes in different wings was confusing, but there was always an adult in the corridor to point me and my friends in the correct direction. All of the teachers are kind and they will always be there to help you. Even if you have lessons without one of your friends, you can always play with them at break or lunch. The reward system is amazing. When you reach a certain amount of K points, you get different prizes. I like getting K points because when I get one, I feel amazing. You can get to up to 10 or more a day. Every week we have a wing assembly where your tutor will pick someone to be tutor of the week and your head of year will pick someone to get the head of year award. The top 10 people to get K points will also get a prize. Thank you, Isabella. So learning doesn't just happen in lessons and we've got plenty of activities that go on at lunch um, that students can take part in as well as an opportunity to catch up with friends. 
Uh, we operate a cashless catering system and we also use the hall for students that may wish to bring a packed lunch. And as I said, don't forget to visit the canteen to sample some of those menu items. Um, for us, the school day doesn't finish at three o'clock and we're really proud of the co-curricular offer that we have. Um, and we have a huge range, as you've heard already, of uh, everything from Warhammer to Lego to football to all sorts. There's loads and loads going on. Um, and our young people, as you walk around tonight, will be able to tell you about that. And we also make sure that if young people need to catch up at the end of the day, if they need a further explanation from their teachers, that there's also opportunities for our young people to do that as, um, as well. Got, we're really proud of our library. Just check that's the right slide on there. Um, and I know you'll be impressed when you go and visit it later. Our literacy team worked really hard to make reading come alive for our students. And again, that's well worth a stop on your um, visit later. OK, Maisie, who is a uh, very talented sports person, is going to tell you a little bit now about those co-curricular activities. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maisie and I just joined Year 7 here at KSA. I enjoy playing football for a local girls team. I really love that this school gives me more opportunities to play. I joined the girls after school football team and we've already played in a local tournament, which was really fun. We get lots of opportunities to learn new sports in our PE lessons. At the moment we are doing football, which I'm really happy about, and netball, which I'm not so happy about. Later on in the year we will do rugby, handball, softball, athletics and lots more. We are lucky to have great facilities to use. The Astro pitches, tennis and netball courts, and a large field to do athletics, and a huge sports hall. There's also a dance studio and water gym available. There are loads of sports the Astro school clubs to choose from if you're interested. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Okay, so one of the most important aspects of our school life is how we make sure we communicate with you. And I know firsthand, as I say, as a parent of three children that have, have obviously gone through primary and then being the parent of a child who, like I say, finds school tricky, that it's really important that we have a positive working relationship to help our young people be the best versions of themselves. So there's several formal events throughout the year where you'll get the chance to speak to your child's tutor or subject teachers and there'll be regular written reports about how your child is doing but it is about much more than those formal opportunities for us and we make use of all the modern technology i think i don't know whether your primary schools my girls primary schools had an app we have an app which means that you can see lesson by lesson how your young person is getting on throughout the school day um, we make use of all of the social media platforms and like i say i know from experience how good homeschool communication is at primary and we want to try and um, emulate that here at KSA and of course it's a much bigger school so things have to be done a little bit differently but we are committed to providing that same level of support and communication that typify primary schools because we see ourselves as a family and we want you to feel that you are part of that family uh, when you join our school. So in terms of what happens if you're lucky enough to be one of the children who are given a place with us, we invest heavily in the transition programme and we're going to be uh, supplementing that even further this year. So it'll start in March on National Offer Day when you get your um, offer of a place at KSA and then we are intending to have a welcome disco and then a whole series of events between then and you starting with us aimed at helping you get to know um, the school a bit better. So there are days when you will come and visit us there's an evening where as parents you can come and get to know us because we know sometimes that actually parents are more nervous than their uh, children about making the move to secondary school. Our staff will come out and visit you, find out a bit more um, about you from your teacher at primary school and we are going to have a summer school next summer where you'll have the opportunity to come and spend some time on your own getting to know each other, getting to know some of our staff and getting to know our um, facilities. So the very last person I'm going to introduce you to is Daisy who I think Daisy I've spelt spelt your name right I got that wrong earlier Daisy who you will soon see is absolutely destined to be on the stage over to you Daisy hi my name is Daisy and I'm a year seven here at KSA 
When I first joined, I was probably feeling the same as all of you guys are sitting here right now. I remember being so scared for the jump from primary to secondary school, but if I'm being honest, I was completely wrong. All of the teachers here are amazing and so understanding. And honestly, if you listen and try your hardest, then all the lessons are awesome, especially science. I think all of you are gonna fit in amazing here at KSA. So good luck and don't worry, because all of these people surrounded you feeling the same as you are right now. So, last thing I think it's important to say is that we really welcome feedback at KSA and we know that to provide a great experience for you and your child, we have to constantly evaluate what we're doing well, but also what we can do to be even better. So, you will find us really open to honest communication. We promise we will respond to that. We can't always promise to agree and we can't promise to always get everything right, but we can promise to always listen and respond. And I want to finish by, I suppose, reiterating what I said at the start, that I absolutely love my job as head teacher. It is the best job in the world. And I'm determined that in time, this will be the best school in the country, but it's not just because of the role that I love it. And even in just the short amount of time I've been here, I can see what potential this school has. And ultimately, that's because of the young people, the staff and the community that makes up KSA. And I think you will agree from listening to those young people this evening who have had no help in putting those scripts together. They have actually spoken from the heart that they are a really amazing set of students. And it's that that actually I spend the majority of my life here and I love that because actually it is the best job and the best school to be. So please take the opportunity tonight to speak to our staff. More importantly, take the opportunity to speak to our young people. They will tell you it as, as it is. We welcome that. They absolutely we will, will be honest about what life at KSA is like and really work out whether KSA is the school for you and is a place where your child will be able to be the best version of themselves. Thank you very much, everyone. I really do hope you've enjoyed the first part of this evening. Um, and now, please feel free to go around to the subject-specific wings where you can go and get a real idea of what a lesson here at KSA looks like. And if you do wish so, you can also now get a student tour guide that will take you around. I think you should all have some maps within your bag. Thank you.